Great Ships by Adam Zagajowski. This is a poem about the great ships that wandered the oceans and groaned sometimes in deep voices, grumbling about fog and submerged peaks. But usually they sliced the pages of tropical seas in silence, divided by height, category and class, just like our communities and hotels. Beneath the deck, poor emigrants played cards and no one won. While on the highest deck, Claudel gazed at Yeast and her hair glowed. And toasts were raised to a safe trip to coming times. Toasts were raised, Alstian wine and champagne from France's finest vineyards. Some days were static, windless, when only the light seeped steadily. Days when nothing happened but the horizon which travelled with the ship. Days of emptiness and boredom, playing solitaire, repeating the latest news. Who'd been seen with whom in a tropical night shade, embracing beneath a peach-coloured moon? But filthy stokers tirelessly tossed coal into open flaming mouths, and everything that is now already existed then, but in condensed form. Our days already existed, and our hearts baked in the blazing stove. And the moment when I met you may also have existed, and my mistrust, brittle as faience's plate, and my faith no less frail and capricious. And my searches for the final answer, my disappointments and discoveries. Great ships. Some sunk suddenly, arousing consciences and fear, gaining deathless fame, becoming stars of special bulletins. Others went peacefully, waned without a word, in provincial ports, in dockyards, beneath a coat of rust, a ruddy fur of rust, a slipcover of rust, and waited for the final transformations, the last judgment of souls and objects. They wait as patiently as chess players in Luxembourg Garden, nudging pieces a fraction of an inch or so.